Hello, Warren Muggleson here. Welcome back to the rowing vlog. Apologies, a little bit late this week. I'm just had a bit of a mad one, to be honest, but we'll put that to one side. Of course, if you're coming back to the vlog, thank you very much for staying with it and bearing with me. If you're coming to the first time, welcome. This is a vlog all about rowing from Henley to uh, the Tideway. It's Henley to the Tideway from wherever you're rowing, wherever, whatever you're doing, then I hope this it can offer you something. So thank you very much for tuning in, and I suppose let's get straight into it. So big, the biggest race of last weekend was, of course, the pairs head of the river race, of course, the Tideway, widely known in the rowing community. And the season, the season getting back underway, the pairs head kicked it off, going from Mortlake to about Hammersmith Bridge, four and a half kilometres. Of course, topping it, who else but the home team, Tideway Scholars School, the time 14 minutes one, which is incredibly impressive for the championship. So of course they'll be probably looking, we'll, we'll see what their ambitions are, they've put out eights before this season, but they might be sticking to the normal smaller boats and sculling, see if what they can pull out, and it looks like they've already got up to a hell of a start. Of course the second place boat was quite interesting from Quinton Boat Club, it was a Masters B double sculls, they're only 0.4 seconds behind them, so of course the Masters community we've already seen at the World Masters at Sarasota last the weekend before, uh, there's really a lot of competition going on out there, so it'll be really exciting to see how Quinton get on. And of course, uh, in the juniors, as the juniors do nothing but impress, I think. The fact that these guys can even keep up with some of the uh, senior crews, even beat them, is impressive in itself. And they had a Lee Junior 18 uh, crew in fourth place, but at home about 7.3 seconds. But it just goes to show that the foundations have been laid very early with the Lee Junior programme. Uh, and of course, speaking of juniors, we have to head to Buenos Aires because, of course, the Youth Olympics are going on there. Two weeks of a festival of sports. Everybody looks forward to these events. I mean, the rowing took place on the 7th and 8th of October. I mean, the crew to point out probably is the uh, pair, both 18-year-old Michael Dalton and Theo Darlow. came first in their heat and uh, Georgina, Georgina Robinson came 10th in her time trial. Of course, the format of these Olympics is probably the biggest talking point because it's changed around a little bit. So you have a time trial, 1,000 metres, with a U-turn. So you would have thought normally if you've been to National Schools Regatta or any of the regattas, Bucks Regatta, those kind of things, the multi-lane, then you do a time trial, go about half the distance, maybe a three-quarter of the distance before you put into your semi-finals to head to the final. But it's been a bit different in Buenos Aires. So we've got 1,000 metres, about 500 metres, U-turn, a bit more like a coastal race. And then when you get to the race, you get about 500 metres. So it's very, very quick racing. Lots of sprinting, so probably time to open up another debate. Obviously, last week there was talk about the Omnium. So this week, is it maybe a bit time for change? I mean, people coming to the sport, sometimes see rowing, if it's just people going up and down, and everybody in this community knows that it's not like that. So maybe we've seen the GB sprints come in with a lot of success. So maybe it's time to mix up the um, racing format a little bit. So what do you think? I want you to know. Get into those comments below get commenting, share the conversation, I want to hear from you. So that would be really exciting to see, I think. So coming back a bit nearer to home, going up to the northeast, we had the Tyne Long Distance Skulls and Small Boats Head, similar distances, and the big crew, interesting crew there was Durham in the open pair, had a really good showing. Of course, we've seen Durham, Durham University, and Durham the Boat Club really showing their strength, we saw at the British Ranging Championships as well so lots of exciting things going on in the northeast of course if you're from there give us a shout out get in the comments below let us know what you want to say and then a bit further down we had the worcester small boats head similar distances of course if you, if you don't know about rowing in the autumn it's all about the long distance so just getting the miles in for training trying to work up the, the rates and the distance to get a solid platform for which you can go into the regatta season so that's why we're seeing all these long races uh, so yeah, looking at Worcester, uh, Birmingham Road Club really had a good showing there, uh, coming in top with 50 minute 39 for a 4.5 kilometre, just under 4 minutes per kilometre, so impressive start for them. And Stratford upon Avon as well, even going under 40 minutes 44, and that was in a 4, and of course Nottingham were not far, not far behind in the open 4, 40 minutes 23, so Nottingham probably wants to watch out for, of course, they've got that National Water Sports Centre that they train on, so we're really hoping to step up from their performance last season. Another one, another race I really wanted to get into was the Torquay Peer-to-Peer, -peer, the 8km race, as you'll see on the British Rowing website. 
but I can find much information on it. So if you have anything, then let me know. Your Twitter handle is just going there. Uh, it will be at Warren at W Muggleton. So let me know what happened there. We'd really love to talk about Coastal Row and get that part of the conversation as well. I, mean, I used to row myself at uh, Christchurch Rowing Club. I, I'm aware of the challenges of uh, coastal rowing, shall we say. It's not, I suppose, I've always said to people, it's not so much about what stroke you take, it's about how many strokes you can take. So we'll see what uh, that conversation can bring up. Uh, a bit further time, we'll just rattle through a couple more. St. Neots, obviously saw St. Ives do really well in the Junior 16. Only 15, uh, St. Ives actually, that Junior 16 uh, quad was only 15 seconds behind the Bedford, Bedford Modern School uh, quad, and that's a J18. They're competing right at the top, looking for a spot at Henley, perhaps in the Princess Elizabeth, or even Forley Challenge Cup. So keep an eye on St. Ives in this season as well. Uh, head of the Don as well, a bit further into uh, York, uh, York City again. Obviously had a great performance at York Autumn. The previous week, 14.51 in a J18 quad as well. So maybe there's another one to challenge for the Forley Challenge Cup. Uh, and then I'll just finish off with uh, Burton Head, of course, 3.5 kilometres. Still waiting for the results on that. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to get into uh, Loughborough as well, because we had saw a couple of Loughborough rowing clubs. And it just makes you wonder how much the uni is involved, because obviously the university has connections to UK sport and the scholarship programme, but most of most of the time that's what they'll do in Bucks, they'll go as Loughborough students and when they're doing the uh, professional races they'll go for Nottingham Rowing Club. So we mentioned Nottingham previously at Worcester Head. So we'll see what the growing atmosphere at Loughborough students can bring to that. Obviously a massive sporting institute in the country. I'd love to see more of them in the rowing community. So I suppose I'm going to cut it off there. Lot, obviously with lots of rowing as usual, we'll look forward to what's coming up in the next couple of days. If you like this vlog, then obviously hit that like button. If you maybe think there's something that you want me to talk about more, then hit the comments below and obviously spread that debate that we were having, of course, about different styles of racing and share this video, share it out to the community, put all the hashtags on it. And that is me, I'm Warren Muggleton, Warren Muggleton Rowing, that's the name of the channel. Make sure you click subscribe if you want to be the first to know about these vlogs coming out. So that is me and I will see you next week.